Good day, Grade 5 learners! This is Teacher Pilar, and welcome to another awesome episode of Essential, because learning science is fun! Now, in this week's lesson, we are going to infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Specifically, you are expected to identify the parts of electric circuit and perform an experiment on electric circuit using a bulb, cell, switch, connecting wire, and alligator clips. Let's look back at our past lesson by doing this simple activity. Write C for the materials that are conductors and I for insulators. Number 1. Leaf 2. Book 3. Gold bar 4. Silver ring 5. Pencil 6. Rubber bands 7. Tin can 8. Iron nails 9. Metal spoon and 10. Cloth Let's check. Have you ever wondered how a flashlight works? It's easy. Just press the switch on and the light turns on. But what really makes the light goes on? Yes, you're right. It's electricity. The electricity in the flashlight comes from the battery inside. The electricity flows from the battery to the bulb. And when the electricity goes to the bulb, the flashlight will light up. The electricity doesn't just jump to the bulb. It has to go to a specific path. And this path is called a circuit. Join me and learn about electric circuit. This is a simple setup of an electric circuit. Let's learn the parts and symbols of an electric circuit. First is the battery. It is the source of electricity. This is the symbol for battery. The bigger line represents a positive terminal, and the small one is a negative terminal. Next is the bulb. It provides the electrical load on the circuit. It has a symbol of a cross enclosed in a circle. Third is a switch. It is used to control the electrical energy that flows in the circuit. There are two symbols used for a switch. This symbol is used when the switch is on. And this is when the switch is off. Last is the wire. It serves as the path of the circuit on which the energy flows. It has a symbol of a line that connects all the parts of an electric circuit. Let's try this out. Here's an activity for you. Watch and observe the video clip about making your own electric circuit. Activity. Construct your own circuit. Let's build our own electric circuit. We need a battery, a bulb, a switch, and wires. All we need to do is to connect all the components using the wires. Now, let's see if the circuit will work. Let's turn on the switch. Does the bulb light up? Why? Yes, because the circuit is complete and the electricity is flowing that makes the bulb light up. 
This time, let's turn off the switch. What happens? Correct! The bulb does not light up. The electricity is not flowing because when the switch is off, there is a gap or a space in the circuit. The flow of electric charge in a current is called electric circuit. It has four parts. They are source, connecting wire, electric device, and switch. The source may be a battery or a dry cell. It supplies the electric current to circuit. The electricity current flows through connecting wires. It goes to electric device. The device can produce light or heat. The switch opens and closes the circuit. Let's connect and disconnect electric current. This is how electric current flows. Let's have another activity. This time we are going to Directions Identify the symbols shown below. Choose your answer inside the box. Write the correct answer on the blanks provided for. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Let's check! What an awesome job, kids! Let's see what science ideas you have learned! Electric circuit is a path that allows electricity to flow. Battery supplies the voltage and current to energize a device attached to the circuit. Bulb provides the electrical load on the circuit. The load is the amount of electrical energy the device uses to complete its task. Switch is used to control the electrical energy that flows on the circuit. Wire serves as the path of the circuit on which the energy flows. The wire system interconnects all the other parts of the circuit. Great! You have learned a lot! Kids, here's another activity for you to enjoy. In a short band paper, draw an electrical circuit and label its components or parts. Let's see if you did get our target. Prepare a paper and pen and write the letter only. Directions. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space before the number. Number 1. Which best describe an electric circuit? A. It is where electricity flows freely. B. It is a broken pathway for charge carriers. C. It is a path for receiving electric current. D. It is made up of plain wires only. Number 2. Which part of the circuit is the source of energy? A. Battery B. Bulb C. Switch D. Wire Number 3. What is the conducting material of a circuit? A. Bulb B. Rubber C. Switch D. Wire
Number 4. What is the output of an electric circuit? A. When the bulb explodes. B. When the switch is on. C. When the battery heats up. D. When the bulb lights up. Number 5. What are the parts of an electric circuit? A. Battery, bulb, switch, wire. B. Bulb, copper, nail, rubber. C. Bulb, generator, electrical tape, wire. D. Scissor, tape, wire, wood. Number 6. How can you make battery-operated pan turns faster? A. Change the blade of the pan. B. Remove the battery and put it back again after few minutes. C. Change new battery with higher voltage. D. Buy a new handy pan. Number 7. Which of this statement is not correct? A. Wire serve as the path of the circuit on which the energy flows. B. Switch closes or opens the circuit. C. Bulb provides the electrical load on the circuit. D. Battery provides the output needed in the circuit. Number 8. Which component do these symbols represent? A. Battery, bulb, switch, wire. B. Battery, buzzer, power supply, switch. C. Bulb, buzzer, motor, power supply. D. Bulb, motor, switch, wire. Number 9. Which statement is correct about battery-run electric circuit? Roman numeral number 1. It always flows clockwise. Roman numeral number 2. It is used as it goes around the circuit. Roman numeral number 3. It is not used as it goes around the circuit. A. 1. B. 2, C, 3, D, 1, and 2. Number 10. What should be done to light up the circuit? A. It always flows clockwise. B. It is used as it goes around the circuit. C. Add another wire. D. Add a battery and close the switch. Let's check. Here's what else you can do. To enrich your knowledge or skills of the lesson learned, write a short essay on why it is important to switch off appliances when they are not in use. That's a wrap for today's episode. This is Teacher Pilar. And always remember, learning science is essential.